Europeans began using enslaved labor in the New World shortly after Christopher Columbus started claiming territory in the West Indies for Spain back in 1492. The colonists who arrived here shortly thereafter wanted a cheap source of labor to work on their farms and in their mines, and so they enslaved the native people. But when most of them died off in epidemics, starting in 1501, enslaved Africans began to take their place, first on the island of Hispaniola. And the demand for slave labor increased dramatically as more and more Europeans established big plantations in the New World. It was during this time that the sailing ships involved in the slave trade began following a distinct triangular pattern of trading routes. In the beginning of this era, manufactured goods produced in Europe, items such as metal tools, pots, knives, and firearms were shipped to West Africa. This journey constituted the first leg of this unique trading triangle. The destination for the ships carrying the manufactured goods were West African slave trading outposts, like this one. It was in places like this that persons who typically had been captured by members of rival tribes were kept under prison-like conditions until they could be traded for European goods. Once the captive people were sold, they were tightly packed into the ship and transported across the Atlantic Ocean. This trade route, known as the Middle Passage, formed the second leg of the triangle. It is estimated that, on average, about 12% of the captive people died during this voyage due to poor nutrition and highly overcrowded, very unsanitary conditions. Once the ship reached the Caribbean islands or the southern English colonies of North America, the captives were sold again at public slave auctions typically being paid for with the plantation products, such as tobacco and sugar. After the enslaved people were sold, the plantation products were shipped to Europe, thus completing the third leg of this triangle trade route. Back in Europe, money from the sale of the plantation products was used to buy more manufactured items destined to be shipped to the slave trading outposts of West Africa. As the New England region of North America became more industrialized, a second triangle trade route developed, in which manufactured goods from New England were shipped to West Africa, where they were traded for enslaved Africans, who were shipped to the plantation areas and sold for agricultural goods that were then shipped to New England factories for processing. In total, 12 to 15 million African people were enslaved and shipped to the New World over a period of about 350 years. The practice of slavery was finally outlawed, first in the British colonies in the year 1833, by the United States in 1865, and lastly by Spanish Cuba in 1886.